Our Bronx Net correspondent, Sanji Lopez, got a chance to catch up with Bronx recording artist, music producer, actor, and director, Mikey J, to find out more about his journey, his philanthropic work, his production company, his upcoming movie premieres, and more. We're going to go to her interview with Mikey J right now. Today's guest is a Grammy-nominated recording artist, music producer, actor, and director from the Bronx. Through his philanthropy, he has established a film academy, multi-million dollar film production company, and more. Now he's here to tell us about his latest projects, Time Matters, and Colorblind. Please welcome Mikey J. Hi, Mikey. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Sanji. Of course. So we'll start off by talking about you, your background from the Bronx. Who is Mikey J? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, first, I'm a father first, God's child, um, and Christ's brother. But I'm a South Bronx native. New York uh, representative, um, actor, rapper, music producer, um, benefactor for two schools in the Bronx, civil rights activist, uh, U.S. peace ambassador, as well as the um, spokesperson for the NAACP in the Bronx, amongst um, many other things. So like we said in the intro, you've established your own film academy and a music production co a production company in and of itself. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I wanted to do something um, in retrospect to curbing the violence um, in the Bronx. And because, um, you know, the news travels, news travels. And when, you, when you're watching, whether it's ABC7 or CBS2, it's like gun violence, this stabbings that you know, the situation with Junior, that, that mm -hmm. really put me over the top. Right. And then just recently, a lot of stuff going on. So I said, well, how do you curb it? Well, you got to start with the most impressionable people out there, which are the five-year-olds, the four-year-olds, the, the eight-year-olds. And you'd be surprised what a five-year-old will get behind the camera and point out to you. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? Let me utilize my platform with the films to, to get these children involved, and hopefully the parents will follow suit. And that's why I just started the Anya Film Academy, to get the kids you know, involved and just to deter them, you know, and um, give them something else to look forward to, other than putting a basketball in their hands or a football. Let's teach them the technical aspects of working behind the scenes. Let's teach them how to do a monologue and you know, in film. Right. So like we said earlier, you are two Grammy nominations, yeah. you got a bunch of awards, and you're giving back to the community, the community that bred you and you came from. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Bert Padel um, gave me the opportunity to work with Sting and Kelly Clarkson. Um, Kelly, especially her early, her early, early days. Uh, that was an honor. 13 Music Awards were all for my music itself, my, uh, my albums, singles, uh, the 42 honor awards that I've received uh, from Barack Obama, um, Ruben Diaz, I got a few from him, proclamations. Um, just recently, Senator Gustavo Rivera. Uh, we do a lot of stuff together, too. Um, great guy. Really, really great guy. Um, the mayor of Patterson, New Jersey. Uh, I took a firearm, a fake firearm from a, a five-year-old, a six-year-old kid. It looked real, right. and um, I bought it all. He said he paid $2 for it, and I gave him $5 for it just to get out of his hands yeah. because what if we were police? And, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, police now, they're not, it's not that they're overzealous. They just, you know, they can't tell the difference at right. that, especially at nighttime or a certain angle. So that came, the city of Patterson, New Jersey, honored me, and different cities across the country. But to be honest, I don't look to be on it, mm. um, nor do I want to. You know, I, I do what I do because I'm my brother's keeper. Right. That's my responsibility. That's my assignment is to come out and not preach, but speak to people and try to get them, you know, to live in a different, different light, right. come out of the darkness. You know, I, I, I myself came from a path that I'm still, I'm still flabbergasted that, wait a minute, one minute I'm on, I'm in the dark, mm. and now I'm in the light, and I, and my life is an open book, very transparent, very transparent. 
So when I was the New York ambassador um, at uh, Peace December, the organization um, by, Mus by Sheikh Musa Jamal, I, I got to utilize my, my past. And I went around the country um, doing an anti-gun campaign, um, Stop the Violence tour. And I was able to do that because I come from a, um, a, a, a gang affiliation background, mm. if you want, if for um, like a term. But to come from that, that sort of background and to be able to actually go to the forefront and speak to gang members and people who just want to go down the life of darkness, nah, we're going we're gonna to show you what it really is. Right. So myself and a friend of mine who became a friend, um, Cam Stone, um, we went around the country, and um, it was great. Thank and you I still do it. Thank you for doing that work and being that, you know, that inspiration and motivation for a lot of youth out here in the Bronx, you know. Thank you for doing that and bringing that back to our hometown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now my son is out there heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It feels good to win. Not that I want to take a break, but now that I can say, now I got other people that I can rely on to continue the work that's already been started by Reverend Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. Mega Evers, Malcolm X, uh, Shea Carrera, and, and so many other prominent um, black leaders and Latino leaders, you know? Right. So it feels good. I could just step back to, yo, my song got that. Or um, Yandy from Love & Hip Hop, what she's doing with the, with, 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 with the young girls now. Yeah. It, just, it just feels good. Right. Not to sit back and watch and just play, yeah, you know. <laughs> and now you have an exciting event coming up this weekend. Yeah. Well, next weekend actually, the yeah. movie premieres. Can we talk about your two films and like <laughs> what you're expecting for these films? Well, the um, first premiere is Time Matters, mm -hmm. and that's starring myself, Vanessa Goodwin, um, Rick Rosenspire, Gigi Neglia, uh, Raymond Broadwater, Peter Guns, and Mama Jones. Yeah. And um, I got to talk about the little ones, too, that's playing my <laughs> daughters, Samantha Heriot. She plays Madison. Um, Sydney Scott, she plays my daughter. And my cousin Jasmine Bowman, she plays my other daughter. So, and um, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And what is the film about? It's like a crime drama, I yeah. understand. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, my brother uh, Samuel, he, he takes some books some ledgers from some very bad people. Mm -hmm. And I'm an attorney, but I was taught by um, the Contento family, uh, Paolo, Paolo Contento, how to be street, mm -hmm. you know? So those, those instincts kick in once my daughter gets kidnapped because of my brother's antics. And um, everything just trickles down from there. Uh, Vanessa Goodwin, who plays Lacey, she's a co-conspirator. It's, it's just, it's just crazy. But everything is straight and narrow, not all over the place, yeah. but it's like right there. So I'm excited about that, and it's gonna be at the um, Stewart Cinema and Cafe, mm -hmm. 79 West Street, Brooklyn, New York, in the Greenpoint section. Uh, for the cast and media, it's 11 a.m., and we got three showings: two, five, and 8 p.m. And we got media coming. Um, Special guests, and I'm proud to be doing it at the um, at the Stewart Cinema and Cafe because Emily Stewart, she uh, started the October Film Fest, mm -hmm. and she's the first Black Latina female to open up her own cinema cafe that is dope. in New York. So. Well, y'all got to pop out and meet Mikey J. He's a very humble person for being a mogul. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank Thanks. you for being here with us, Mikey. We're definitely going to plug in and talk about the event right now. And, yeah. you know, we'll pull all the information. We have the flyer and everything. But thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for having me. Looking forward. Likewise. Time Matters debuts on Sunday, June 23rd at the Stewart Cinema and Cafe, located at 79 West Street in Brooklyn, with show times at 2, 5, and 8 p.m. For more information on Mikey J, please make sure to follow him on Instagram at Mikey J's IG. Stay tuned for more open right after this.